How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to really use your Mac trackpad. That's right, I'm going to give you all of the tips, tricks and of course gestures to literally master your Mac trackpad, which is definitely one of the coolest things about the Mac and one of the things that makes it so great. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate through desktops, but of course not only that, how to use mission control how to use your expose, of course, how to open up your launchpad and how to actually make everything go away and show you your desktop. Of course, there's much, much more than that. I'm gonna show you dragging, multiple finger gestures and so, so many things. Everything I need to know about the Mac trackpad. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is open up your system settings because here is where all your settings and trackpad parameters live. I'm actually gonna show you all of my trackpad settings that I've been using throughout all those years in many, many Macs that I've had, okay? So, let's get started and the first thing I want you to do is go to accessibility, all right? And then scroll down until you see pointer control and right here, trackpad options. And I know it's kind of hidden, but yeah. And right here we have use trackpad for dragging. So enable this feature and then on dragging style, tap on three finger drag, as you can see right here and then okay. And with this, we'll be able to drag absolutely anything on our Mac with just one hand, with just three fingers. Let me show you. So for example, if I want to drag this window around, uh, I can place my cursor right here at the top and then with three fingers and I'm not clicking, okay, just dragging, as you can see, I'm going to move it around, okay, as easy as that. I can resize any window. For example, let me go ahead here and get the Safari window right here, place my cursor on any corner until we see the arrows, right? And then with three fingers again, I can readjust it and make it smaller or larger just like that without needing to click with one hand and move with the other. No, no, no. You're going to do everything with one hand. As a matter of fact, everything that I'm going to show you in this video, you'll be able to do with just one hand, which is the way you're supposed to do it, right? Uh, dragging doesn't stop there. If I want to drag any icon, for example, same story, three fingers, move it around place it whenever I want, wherever I want, as easy as that, as you can see. Um, if I open up this note that I have and type some random stuff right here, as you can see, I can just highlight and select any text that I want with three fingers as well. For example, I'm highlighting, as you can see, as you can see right there, with the same gesture with three fingers. So then you can highlight, copy, paste, uh, delete, do whatever you want. So as you can see, absolutely any gesture that includes moving things around on your Mac, you're gonna be able to do it with three fingers without clicking. And this clicking thing is one of the most important things about making your trackpad better. So let's go ahead here, uh, scroll all the way down, in our system settings, right? And then click here on trackpad, as you can see, and we have a ton of stuff here, but the one I want you to pay attention right now is this last option, tap to click. And I want you to enable this feature because when you enable it from now on, you won't have to click on the trackpad anymore to do anything. All you have to do is touch, just like you do on your iPhone screen just touch, no needing to put force, to click, to use two fingers, no, 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 just a simple tap will give you the effect of clicking. So for example, uh, if I'm here and um, I wanna minimize this, right? So this is a button, right? In order to click, I just tap. And as you can see, it minimizes. If I go back, I just have to tap and it goes back. So I don't have to click, put force or anything like that. And this will take effect in the entire Mac OS system. You don't have to click anymore unless you want to. If you want to, you can still click and everything works the same. But now you don't have to anymore, okay? Uh, here we have the three main options, right? So point and click, which is the one we're seeing right now, scroll and zoom and more gestures. And we're gonna quickly take a look at everything. So. On point and click, we have those two big sliders right here, tracking speed and click, 
and I do recommend that you play around and see which one you think is the best. Which sensitivity, which speed, uh, tracking speed will make your cursor go faster or slower. So I do recommend that you play around and move this cursor around as you can see right here. I honestly do recommend that you leave it like that, a little bit more than halfway. And uh, since this is a dragging feature, keep in mind you can use the three fingers that I just showed you, okay? So this is cool as well. Uh, click, same story, if you, if you wanna be light, medium, or firm, it's up to you, okay? Uh, let's move on, we have here silent clicking. Uh, I generally leave this off, I like the clicking, okay? Uh, force click and haptic feedback, I do recommend that you leave it on because uh, you can feel the haptic engine right here when you actually click, when you actually press, if you wanna use it, okay? And depending if you wanna force click, okay? You're gonna feel a stronger haptic. And depending on what you're using, the app you're using, maybe this could be helpful to you. So then uh, this haptic feedback with force sensitivity is cool, okay? Uh, moving on, we have lookup and data detectors, and this is nice as well. And I recommend that you use tap with three fingers. This is the option I use. So then uh, let me show you what lookup is. So if you have, for example, a note or any text actually in your Mac, could be a Safari window, absolutely any text in any app. So if I type in here, car, as you can see, if I go ahead and I tap, with three fingers, just a tap, remember, we don't have to click anymore, so just a tap with three fingers, it's gonna open up right here a dictionary, or you can go ahead and look for Siri knowledge, Wikipedia, so we have a ton of stuff right here, so you have this built-in dictionary and data information just by tapping any word or any text with three fingers anywhere in Mac OS. Getting back here to our system settings, uh, we have here secondary click, and this is your option click, right? Uh, generally the click you use if you have a mouse with your right finger, okay? So this secondary click on the trackpad, in my opinion, the best way to do it is by click or tap with two fingers. So then if you are anywhere, for example, desktop, and you tap with two fingers, right? Tap and then you have here your options for absolutely anything, your typical options. But you don't have to click here at the bottom or the corner or anything like that. So anywhere you are, you go ahead here, two finger, right? And then just a tap, and then you have here your options. So I recommend you to use that way. And then of course we have tap to click, which we have already covered, right? Moving on to the second category, scroll and zoom. And the first thing we have to talk about has to do with scrolling, natural scrolling. And a lot of people still have questions and problems with this, and I super understand why. Because by default, natural scrolling will be on, and what Apple calls natural scrolling is actually inverted scrolling is the opposite of natural. Let me explain. So, uh, scrolling on your Mac will be done with two fingers, okay? So then up and down, you're gonna be scrolling. So then you're gonna be scrolling on a web page, on a menu, on absolutely anything. It's the gesture of going up and down on a menu, right, or a page. Uh, and then with natural scrolling, it's the opposite. So when you actually move your fingers down, it goes up, and when you move up, it goes down, let me show you. So I'm gonna move down, two fingers down, and it's going up, right? The menu is going up. And if I move my fingers up, the menu is going down. And I use it, I use the natural scrolling because in theory, what Apple is calling natural is because it's as if you're actually tapping on the screen, scrolling on the screen, like on your iPhone. And then when you move up, the content goes down, right? But if you want to, if you don't like that, if you come from Windows, uh, you can go ahead here and disable, and then it becomes natural. So then uh, if you move two fingers up, it goes up. And if you move two fingers down, it goes down. Okay, so this is really up to you. Uh, here we have zoom, zoom in or out, smart zoom and rotate. And I'm gonna talk about those three features just here with this document. So as you can see, I have two images right here, and the zoom feature is pinch to zoom, just like with your iPhone. So then if you get your trackpad right here, and you pinch to zoom, as you can see, it's gonna zoom in, right? Pinch, 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 
So zoom in and zoom out, as you can see right there. So it's pretty natural, right? Uh, you also have the smart zoom, which is tapping with two fingers and it will zoom in as well. So tap with two fingers, tap with two fingers, and then that's how it works, okay? Uh, as you can see, everything is just tapping, not clicking. And we also have the rotate feature. So if you have an image that's upside down, for example, or you wanna make it upside down, you use two fingers to rotate it like that. So I'm gonna rotate it like that, as you can see. So I'm rotating with two fingers. And as you can see, it's actually rotating the image. Okay, so moving on, and I'm gonna minimize this because we're gonna use it in a second. So we're going through all that. I do recommend that you enable everything, right? We have more gestures. And here is the more advanced stuff, but it's not hard at all. This is actually the cool stuff, okay? So first we have swipe between pages. And let me show you what this is. So if you open up the same document right here, the same file, the same preview, that we have two images uh, with two fingers, once again, we can go ahead backwards and forwards and move pages, move through pages. So as you can see right here, we go to the next page, slide back, we come back to the previous page. So then uh, it's just uh, two fingers backwards and forwards, as you can see right here. Um, you have the option to select with different fingers, but honestly, I do recommend that you leave with two. You understand why? Because we have more gestures with the other fingers coming up, okay? Now, swipe between full screen applications, and this is the desktop part. This is one of the most important features, and I do recommend that you leave with four fingers. So swipe left or right with four fingers. And when Apple says between full screen applications, it's not just applications, it's desktops as well. So if we swipe up and we're gonna get here mission control, which we're gonna show you in a second, and move my mouse up there, as you can see, I have four different pages, right? Those are four desktops three normal desktops and one full application, which is mail. So uh, with this feature right here, what we can do is navigate backwards and forwards between those pages. So uh, four fingers to the right, we go to this last desktop, to the left, the page we were, left again, this page with Safari and Notes, which we had a look, right? And left, once again, we go to my mail, which is a full screen app. By the way, if you wanna make an app full screen, all you have to do is tap here on this little tiny green icon and you're gonna make it full screen. So then you're gonna make it just like that, okay? One app filling the entire screen, as you can see. Okay, so uh, that's swipe between full screen left and right with four fingers. We also have notification center. I do recommend that I leave it on. We don't have customization here. So the way it works is two fingers, okay, once again, and then you're gonna place the two fingers outside the trackpad on the metal frame, okay, of your Mac, and then slide them in. So slide in. And as you can see right here, um, they're gonna open up. So they're gonna show up your notifications, your mail, uh, your reminders, anything that you want. So two fingers out from outside in, all right? Mission control, and we are heading back to four fingers once again, okay? And I do recommend that you tap here and leave with four fingers, as you can see. So then it's super easy to understand how to manage your desktops. So four fingers up, it's gonna show mission control. If you move your cursor all the way up, as you can see, it's gonna show you all your desktops and full applications as I showed you. And then you can easily navigate with four fingers as well, left and right. So then you'll be able to go four fingers up and four fingers left and right. And we're only talking about navigating and showing and taking a look at desktops and full apps. So I recommend that you leave with four fingers. We also have app expose. Let me show you what that is. So if you have, for example, more than one window of the same app, so as you can see right here, you have two Safari windows, but it could be multiple Excel windows or anything that you want. What you have to do is click on it and then four fingers down. And then as you can see, it's going to show you all of the windows from that very same app. 
So as you can see, I'm here just seeing this window from Google, right? But if I swipe four fingers down, it's gonna show me all of the Safari windows that I have here. As I said, this will work for any application that you have multiple windows. So that's expose. So as you can see right here, we have pretty much three main gestures with four fingers. Four fingers up, we have mission control. We can take a look by moving the cursor up at all of our windows. Four fingers left and right to navigate through those windows, okay? So again, four fingers. And of course, four fingers down to see App Expose and see all of the windows of that very same app, okay? And then there we go. Uh, and moving on, we also have Launchpad, which I really, really like which has a possibility of seeing all of your apps. And this gesture is a little bit tricky. It's four fingers as well, okay, but without the pinky. So you're gonna use all of your other four fingers, as you can see, to do this pinch motion without the pinky, okay? So four fingers pushing in, okay? So pinch, four fingers in, and then as you can see right here, you have all of your apps. You can navigate through those pages of apps with two fingers, okay? So left and right, and you can see all your apps. And finally, you can use the exact same fingers, okay? So lose the pinky once again, and then the, all the other four fingers do the exact same gesture, but the opposite. So instead of closing, of pinching, you're gonna pinch out, okay? And let me show you, I'm gonna come to this desktop right here. So pinching out and you make everything go away. You make all of your windows go away and you have this clear view of your desktop. If you wanna get some file, uh, anything here that's on the desktop, super easy to do. And of course, if you do the opposite gesture, you can come back and bring all of those apps back, okay, in Windows. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you literally master the trackpad. How to click with just a tap, how to use two fingers, three, how to drag, how to use four fingers, how to use all of the features, including Mission Control, Expose, Notification Center, Launchpad, Show Desktop, and absolutely everything that you need, okay? so. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope this make your life more productive on work and study and just makes it a little bit fun. Because in the end of the day, the trackpad is one of the coolest things about the Mac, so you need to really use it, alright? So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys, bye bye.